Hey, what up, YouTube? Um, I hadn't done a video in a while, and I'm gonna be trying to do more magic videos now. So, one of my first magic videos, I wanted to show what my legacy deck is for stand, uh, that play. Uh, I'm getting ready to try to do some more uh, side events with legacy, and um, so this is my version of Buck Control, and I'm gonna sh see what y'all think. I'm gonna try to post more videos from Magic coming up soon since I I still play card fight with a few with my a few friends but not really much. But um, I'm gonna turn this channel into a Magic channel. I'm gonna try to do like drafts and stuff once I get my computer fixed up again. So let's check the deck out. Um, I've got four Dark Confidants because he's boss. Draw extra cards. Control your hand. Uh, the curve is relatively low in this deck, so you'll, it's not that bad. Uh, Court Deathrite Shaman because he's a hoss in uh, Legacy where you just have your fetch lands to get a turn two Liliana, a turn two uh, Goyf, and another Deathrite. Any just small combinations that could be possible and during your opponent's life. Uh, four Tomagoyfs because he's four. To it's Tomagoyf, just too good. Um, I'm only running. One Snapcaster Mage to get some value off some of my draw cards and the few counter spells on the deck. And the other creature is one Vendillion Click that allows me to see my opponent's hand or possibly manipulate my hand if I need to. Just uh, another card that's going to help see what your opponent has since it's a hand control deck. Um, the Planeswalkers, uh, of course, you're going to be running three uh, JTMS because he is. By far the best planeswalker ever, and who doesn't want to play Jace? And and standard when he was legal, I lo uh, didn't like him. But Legacy, he's a little more controlled. You can at least do something about him. And three Liliana the Veil because she's a good removal spell, and she keeps hand control, which is what this deck's about: hand control. Now on to the sorceries, the control cards for the hand. Three Thoughtseize. Um, Great way to keep make sure you get information on your opponent, see what they have, and keep their hand in check, especially the combo decks. Um, three hand the Tarak. Um, discard two randomly for two. It's not bad. Your mana fixing is very easy, not hard to do. And one Inquisitor and Kozilek. Um, it doesn't work all the time, but it's a great way to also just without having to lose life. Look at hand. Most of the time, I'll hit a card. Uh, draw cards. I've got four brainstorms because it's the premier draw card of the format. Great, great way to manipulate the top of your deck to make sure your opponents do like a discard card. You can manipulate your hand to make sure they don't see what your key cards are. Uh, two ponders because it just allows you to dig three deck long more. Then I've got some removal spells. I've got three abrupt decays because there are a lot of aggro decks out there now where this will not be countered by force of will and days and allows you to go ahead and get rid of that threat um one days because this deck is not a control like heavy heavy counter deck but having one option to one days and one force of will because if you notice it's not heavy on blue so it's not really necessary to have to use uh Force of Will, but having having access to one copy could be useful. Um, I've got more in the sideboard. I changed the deck up uh, a little bit once I go in the sideboard. Uh, then my lands, I've got the three Pluto Deltas, uh, three Misty Rainforest, two uh, Varian Catacombs. Then I've got the Duels. I've got four Underground Seas. Two tropical islands and a bayou, and then three basics in case they have wastelands and stuff. You can still cast your spells off of lands, and then you're also running your own four wastelands. Now for the side deck, that's where the other four wheels are hanging out. I can convert this, the main deck into more of a control deck where if hand control is not the way to go and I can still use my creatures as the beatdown and don't have to manipulate the hand, I can take out the uh, discard spells and turn it into a control deck. Or I also have my fourth 
Jace. So it turns into more of a control deck after sideboard if I ha if it's necessary. And then I still have the second Vendillion click for another control if I need to actually bring more uh, discards in. Or this one is just better for um, as a creature as well. And then Vincer. People don't like this. People haven't been really playing this card much, but. The ability to possibly remand uh, another spell back to the hand, just getting value off of it, and it's another card you can remove from Fort with Force of Will, um, just gives you a creature, and if it, it has some silly plays. It really does have some silly plays. You have to play, know and play with this, that card to realize how uh, funny and manipulative this card can be. And then, one extra paint. Now, people play Cranial Extraction, but Cranial Extraction can be countered. This can't be countered. So if you want to get rid of that key combo piece, extirpate it. And I am running Snapcaster, so I can do it twice. Um, dredge, obvious for Dredge, and obvious for Dredge. Now these hurt your uh, Tarmogoyfs, but when you play against those decks, you usually cyborg Tarmogoyfs. So your four copies of Tarmogoyfs, easy for replacement. So... That's my version of Bug. There are multiple ways you can play uh, Bug Control, but um, this is just a test run. It's no solid deck, but uh, let me know what you think. Like I said, if you like magic and stuff, um, like and subscribe. Let me know what you want, and I'm gonna try to put what I can up there. Pack openings if you want, if you like them. Old packs, new packs, uh, deck profiles, Magic Online. Uh, tray binders, etc. I'll probably put a tray binder up here anyway, because I'm, I've got legacy, vintage, standard, modern, you name it. I've got it. I just depends on how much time and effort I want to put tray binders. I may just put standard up here, and then I'll list some of the big cards for legacy and stuff, and then I'm not gonna put the small cards. I'll just put the big cards. So, if you like it, please subscribe. Check out, uh, check out the other content I put up in the future, um, but other than that, Jordan's A6I, and catch you later.